guys, it's Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon Tuesday now. Morning, yeah, Tuesday afternoon now. Um, so today I got the windows out and I cut a template for the windows to be cut out on the van. Um, I'll show you all that tomorrow because that's that's all I've done today. Um, and that's took all day. Well, it has took all day. I've gone down to um, first call windscreens in Sittingbourne. Uh, they very kindly booked me in for Thursday. Um, now, you know, obviously, it, British weather could be raining. Yeah. You know, And we whatever. don't have a garage. And we haven't got so. a garage. So they they very kindly booked us in so as we can use their unit. Um, it's only going to take me an hour once it's done. I'm going to cut some of it out tomorrow, which I'll show you. And then... I mean, I'm really excited about these windows. I can't wait for them to come in because it, it completely transforms a van then. It's from a work van to what on the outside looks like a, a, a camper van. So I am really excited about getting the windows in. Uh, the guys at the first call windscreens, they're actually going to glue it all in for me. So all I've got to do is cut out about half inch outside of what, I've already measured up so it's going to be nice well it's going to be nice and easy for me tomorrow to measure it up and I'm going to start getting the um, jigsaw out and start cutting it yeah Making um, holes <laughs> you know cut it once cut it right that's what, what I'm thinking I'm hoping anyway um, I am dreading it a bit because obviously it's something I've never done before uh, but I have got like the professionals over at First Call. I, I drove over there with the windows and they advised me what I should do. I've got it in my head now, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So, next time you see me, I'll be um, getting ready to cut the windows out. And I'll be glad to see them gone because we don't have a garage, as we keep saying, so Andy's now storing everything in our spare room, which is also our office for work. So we can't move up there because we've got windows and boxes. And I have took them out and I've got them we've in the now van, got so the she chimney. can't say that now. We've got the chimney burning in the garden with all the wood. Cardboard. All the cardboard, should I say. But one thing I'd like to point out oh, is, God. this Here will make go. you laugh. Here we go. Andy has never ever in his life used a hoover and he left so much cardboard chippings on the floor where he cut these templates out. I did have to Google it. I actually I made him YouTube. go and use the hoover, but unfortunately he'd done it that quick. I didn't manage to get a picture of him. So yeah, I was quite proud of him actually for using the hoover. Yeah, I did have to watch YouTube first just to see where the on-off button was. <laughs> and, you know, it, it sort of stood up and I... As I, as I pulled the... You didn't know how to it was, flatten it's it. It's one of them stand-up ones. I don't know how to flatten it, so I just stuck my foot on it. And See, so I needed so YouTube. That was harder than cutting a window. YouTube is the way to go, guys, <laughs> honestly. Follow YouTube, you'll find anything on there. So I can actually use a hoover for the maximum time of one minute because that's how long the, um, the YouTube video was. So after that, after one minute, well, I have to turn it off and give it to you. If I go up there and it's not clean, you're going back <laughs> with it again. So well, I have to give it to you to luck. finish off. So, no, it's all clean upstairs, all done. Um, we're going to call it a day now because I want to watch the England game later on this evening. I've got to cook dinner, as usual, which I normally do. Uh, I'm going to make a nice prawn curry. It's quite cold out there, so nice prawn curry um, for dinner. And watch us when I'm cutting the uh, holes out for the windows, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. I've um, I've been up to the window place, and they've booked me in for tomorrow to have my windows cut out, uh, my windows fitted. So let me show you what I've I've done so far. Let's open the van. I keep doing that, don't I? I keep trying to open the van without it. So, I've made, let me turn you around, I've made little templates out of cardboard, uh, which they do fit perfectly. Um, so you've got the top dri driver side one, and you've got this one, it's the passenger side. Okay, so when I cut that out, I cut the 
bit out for it looks a bit messy but it will be tidied up after I've if I how can I show you let's show you with this one right, so as you can see it fits fairly well and I, I am going to leave a little gap around about that much each side so as I can get the rubber in and it will look smart done the same with this one um, when I cut them out I take them to the thing and this is where the side of the van and this is where I'm going to draw the line in order to start cutting out what I'm going to do today to make it easier for tomorrow I'm going to cut out the bottom and the top line and I might cut a little bit down and I might do the curves just so when I get there all I've got to do is cut up cut up and then that's out and then they can fit the window I've done the same on the other side let me show you done the same on the other side um, I'm going to draw on this to get a I've also got some zinc fit, um, primer I'm going to get rid of that with the grinder and I'm going to prime everything that I cut just so it doesn't get rusty in the future um, I've decided I am going to change the doors so I'm not doing the back rear windows yet um, they're going to be done at a later date but that's easy that's that's fine uh, my next step after this will be hopefully the back windows I'm going to do the back windows um, can see they're going to be different to these and I may even get the next window on which is just a flat piece of glass that makes it look smart that comes sort of right up to here so then I've just got the window the smaller window there so that's my next bit I'm going to do so let me start getting everything ready and I'll show you the lines once I've made them so I've marked out all the where I'm going to cut it let's have let's show you so these lines I know that's a little, little bit squiggly but I'm going to tidy that up there they're pretty straight that's the hole I'm going to cut out on the uh, side loading door let's go round and I'm going to cut out right along this is right along the edge here so I'm going to cut out there up and along but I'm not going to do the whole lot today as I say I'm going into um, the windscreen place that's going to fit them once they're done uh, so wish me luck hopefully I've measured it right I'm going to have a cup of tea then I'm going to crack on and I'll show you what I've done afterwards that's it for today guys I've um, I've cut as much as I'm going to cut let me show you so I made a couple of pilot holes here with a drill and started cutting down as you can see I've also started cutting up from there so I've, I've just got that bit to do which you know will take five minutes I've cut right along here I've made a sort of yeah um, a sort of angle for the window and then I've left that and I've gone over a little bit there but I don't think that matters but that's the sort of shape of the window at the top I mean I've got U channel to go in there and I'm going to rub it all down and you know it'll be nice and tidy and there'll be no sharp edges and it'll all be fine so let's go around the other side and I've done the same here Cut up right around up to here down to here is the shape of the window and as you can see I've made a couple of pilot holes here again and I've just got a cut right the way down 
tidy it up with a grinder, which I will. And it should only take, I can't see it taking more than an hour to do tomorrow. Um, but I'm not going to go any further because that's, that's me done. I don't want to leave it wide open. So I've got all my tools in here ready for tomorrow. I've got the grinder. I've got the jigsaw. I've got the beading that goes around the window. Got my windows, they're a bit dirty. It's only cardboard on there. And I've got a set of step ladders, extension lead, and some clamps that I was using for the cardboard. And I've got some masking tape if they need it. Not that they are, I think they will. I think they'll have everything. This I was just using to get a straight line. Um, but there you have it. I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. And I will see you tomorrow at the, um, at the window place. Where I'll be finishing these windows off. And hopefully they'll get them on and it'll be a nice easy job. Well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see if it happens. What a difference. Um, I've been up the uh, window place. It actually looks as though uh, I've cut the holes out perfect. Uh, the van is now back on the drive. And I've got the windows in. Let's go and have a look. Please let me know what you think, guys. Yeah, um, cause I'm I'm really pleased with it. So let's turn you around to have a look. There you go. Completely transformed the van. Compl totally, absolutely, totally. Uh, it's all fits perfect. Uh, the holes fit perfect inside. Here comes the other one. Let us know what you think guys, because as I say, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. The holes, uh, with the beading that I've got, that it came with, let me, bear with me, let me get the keys. And, um, Rob spoke to them on site, he's just being unloaded. Right, as so, speak. let's get the keys. Um, they're open till five o'clock, and then they're quite happy to take the load off. Right, so let's get the keys and open up and let, let you see from inside. So, here you go. What do you think, guys? I mean, this is this will all be covered up after. It's a little bit loose, but I'm probably going to get a little board there and cut, put around. And yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. Let us know what you think in the comments, guys, because. You know, we do like a little bit of feedback, but the holes look as though they've been cut perfectly. So, I think I've lo I've missed my vocation. Maybe I should have been a a van converter. <laughs> Tina's now decided she wants the second set, set of windows. Now they're going to be blank, so all they're going to do is sit over the top of the metal here. Um, they'll come to about here. And then we're going to get windows for here, you know, but they're going to open outwards because that's where it's going to be where the bed and the um, the chairs are. Yeah, as I, as I was saying, my uh, GoPro actually stopped itself then. But I'm going to stop for a little while um, just so as I can... Uh, we're going away on holiday for a week. Uh, the van's going to be in for MOT. So I'm going to get wait for it to be MOT'd and then I'll I'll let you go guys know what we're doing right this is going to be my last um little video for this this vlog um so been fairly busy over the last week or two I've gone and picked up uh better doors second hand but better door back doors for the van I've also picked up an, a better bonnet um which wasn't cheap but i want to make the van look look nice on the outside as well as building the uh camper van i've also had a little uh shop so i've bought myself i've got there a max fan deluxe in the smoked 
Um, I've also got two um, opening windows. I can't remember the name of them, but I will let you know in a future vlog. And just for... Um, I had a little bit of cash left over, so I bought myself an MPPT Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller. Um, I'm going to put that away. That's not going to be fitted yet. So I'm going to be cutting more windows out. I've got the back door windows to do. I've got the um, team. Can you remember what they're called? Let me have a look and I'll, I will tell you what they're called. Um, Tina's doing a bit of washing while I'm uh, having fun, spending money. So I've got a lot to do uh, over the next week or two. Uh, my son's coming over on Thursday. He's going to be helping me change the bonnet and the two back doors so they, they're ready. Um, let me have a look. Let me tell you what what I bought and where I bought them obviously because uh, this company were very good so I bought these items from Magnum Motorhomes let me get my glasses can't see anything without my glasses can't even see my glasses without my glasses there you go got my glasses so Magnum Motorhomes I bought these from and I bought two Polyvision Aero windows um, they were £320 each I bought two of those I bought a Max Air Max fan uh, with the 10 speed um, with the smoked lid uh, so that was a hunt that was £329 and I bought the solar solar um, charger, MPPT charger for 129. Now Tina wants the the inside where the blinds are because they come complete with blinds and fly screens. Uh, she wants the inside in black, like the plastic in black. So I had to purchase extra. Um, I've got them here somewhere. Uh, wherever they are, I think they're in here. I had to buy, purchase extra um, black corner pieces. So there'll be black strips, black corner pieces. It'll all be lovely, and you know she wants the colour code as black. Um, that came to a total of one thousand one hundred and twenty-two pound ninety-five. And that includes postage. Um, also, my the parts that I bought, I bought a few other little parts that I needed for the vehicle as well. It was a, a Mercedes Sprinter breakers I went to. Um, so I bought all the parts that I need for the van to tidy it up a little bit. And they came to £750. Now my total so far is over three thousand pound but it doesn't look as though i've been it i've i'm anywhere near it possibly so as i say i i, I personally think if you're going to do it do a job you want to do it right the first time because you're always going to regret not doing it sorry about that i don't know what happened to the gopro it's just turned itself off so yeah so hopefully I'm going to have all Victron parts on. I've got AGM batteries here that I'm possibly going to use just to start. They're going to be easy to change at the end because they're going to be in the front accessible. And, you know, I can change them when and as, um, or as and when, whatever. But yeah, we've also had a week's holiday in Turkey. And this is why... You know, we haven't been filming much or doing much. But as of Thursday, I'm going to crack on. Uh, I've got two side windows to put in. I've got two rear windows to put in. Um, I've got a few bits here and there that, you know, will go in in the future. But I've already bought them, so 
I won't have to buy them when that job comes. As I say, I'm doing all the connections, all the electrics, everything, before I even start insulating the van. Then I can run all the wiring around and, you know, piping and hot water, cold water, whatever, around before I actually put the uh, insulation in and then I can hide it all, if you know what I mean. So there, there you go. Thanks for uh, joining us. Thanks for looking at me, um, me blog. Please subscribe if you haven't already and look out for the next one. See you soon, guys. Bye.